Okay guys, this is going to be another quick uh, tutorial. This is going to be part one of a, of a two-part uh, tutorial. Um, this part is actually going to show everybody how to, uh, how to get a VMware and uh, get the backtracks for VMware to make a uh, virtual machine. Um, now, uh, just a quick uh, note here, all my videos are in uh, HD, so for best results and easy viewing, uh, make sure you set it to uh, HD 720 and, uh, and use the full screen view. It will give you the best picture. So, Anyway, getting started, um, VMware is just a, uh, a program that will allow you to uh, basically run a virtual operating system within an operating system. Um, so uh, my the program that I use and my program of choice is VMware Workstation. It's down here. Um, although they're uh, an easy one. That this this one's pretty big and it's got a lot of uh, features. But for just a viewer and a player, you can use what's called a VMware player. Um, you can get that uh, if you go to download.com uh, and actually search for VMware player. Uh, the very first option on here, um, the VMware player. If you just download that, um, you know, let it run and install, uh, it it works uh, exactly the same as the VMware uh, the VMware workstation. Now, um, so after you download and install that, um, in order to get the backtracks, uh, VMware, um, it's free. It's of course the Linux um, distro. Um, you're going to go to www.backtracks or excuse me, backtrack-linux.org. Um, and all these links will be in the info as well as showing on the screen here. Um, so you go there, uh, and at the top of the page you'll click download. Um, and of course you're going to want to get the VMware, so uh, it's right here. Um, Backtracks for final release VMware, and then just go ahead and download that. Or of course if you use Torrent, you can Torrent it. Um, but uh, just for the sake of speed here, I already have it downloaded. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to get that booted. So. Um, Anyway, uh, go ahead and load your VMware player. I'm going to go ahead and load my VM workstation. Um, and again, they both work uh, pretty much the same. So um, once this gets loaded here and uh, gets booted up, we'll go ahead and get the Backtracks operating system loaded. So in VMware, um, the actual player, it's fairly simple. All you do is once you download the VMware um, program, the Backtracks file, just uh, unzip it. Um, and you can either move that folder in another folder or wherever, leave it on desktop. But uh, you know, you get a file, and you're going to want to go open, and you're going to want to navigate to your VMware folder that you just downloaded and extracted. Uh, for example, this is where mine is. Um, you'll just open up the Backtrack 4 final. Just double click it, um, and then you're going to want to either use Power On or some whatever the Backtracks uh, or the, excuse me, the VMware player has. Um, just uh, just uh, start and basically start the operating system. So, um, as you can see here, uh, it's actually loading the operating system in inside of my Windows 7. Um, so we're gonna let that boot for a second, and then I'll show everybody how to actually get into uh, Backtracks um, and get started with uh, with um, the actual usage of it. Now. A quick thing here, if uh, for wireless, again, since this is a part one of a part two, my part two is going to be about cracking web. Um, if this is on a desktop and you use a USB wireless adapter, down here is going to be your USB adapters. You have to make sure that you find the adapter you want to use and you click on it and you make sure that you, um, well, for example, this one here, this is what you would see. You would need to make sure you hit connect or you will not be able to use that adapter in Backtracks. So, once Backtrack is ready, uh, you're going to get a boot log. You're going to get a login screen. The basic login name is root. Oh, excuse me. Got to click in there first. So root. Hit enter. Password is just root backward. So it's T O O R. Nothing will show up, but just hit enter, uh, and it'll get you going. Um, to start the operating system, all you do is press. You type start X. Hit enter. Uh, and it'll quickly go through its boot here um, to get you on the operating system. So, um, just give it a second to get booted. Um, you can even go full screen with it if you'd like, which is what I'll do, full screen. Um, so, 
Here's the uh, here's the Backtracks operating system running within a Windows 7. Um, basically, in my next tutorial, everything we'll be doing uh, is going to be through the console, which is kind of like the DOS prompt. It's all, all command line, uh, and I'll be showing everybody how to uh, to crack a web key uh, or my own personal um, wireless router. So keep in mind the web. Uh, cracking is going to be for uh, personal educational, educational uses only to uh, check vulnerabilities of your own home network. So, be good. Um, but anyway, that's how uh, you get loaded into Backtracks. Ooh, excuse me. That's how you get loaded into Backtracks. Now, another quick little tip, and uh, if you ever want to shut it down, so up your console and type power off. Hit enter, and that'll power it off. Um, to get out of the Backtracks, to use your regular Windows key, just hit Control and Alt, and it'll allow you to get your cursor back for Windows. Um, there you go. It shut down my backtrack, so I just loaded and unloaded a operating system within Windows. So, um, but uh, that's how easy it is to download uh, uh, backtracks for Win for uh, VMware. So, um, check out my other videos. Uh, I'm gonna have a part two to this. Uh, on uh, on web key cracking for uh, wireless. Until then, take it easy.